Mushrooms and leaves. Where? Here? Maybe nothing. Uh, what about... Here! Oh. Hey, mushrooms. Are you all on vacation or what? I give up. There are no mushrooms anywhere. I don't think there ever were. Bjorn? Keep up with that bear. Oh. What are you doing? Earth to the polar bear. So, am I just looking for mushrooms all alone? Hmm. You had time to find all those mushrooms and have a dance party, too? All right, Bjorn, tell me how you found them. Because I looked everywhere really hard. And I found none. I don't really know, Bucky. I'm just totally in tune with nature. Bjorn and the forest drum to the same beat, and that's how. But where you come from, there's no forest. Just a lot of snow. There is snow, yeah. But there's forest, too. And animals and the ocean. The north is pretty big. Question! How do you stock up for the winter up north where the world is frozen? Mushroom sickles. Just kidding, we dry fish. <laughs> and there's juicy walrus steaks and yummy fish oil. <laughs> yummy fish oil? So disgusting. Suddenly mushrooms sound a whole lot better. And this bear is going to invent a modern way to pick them. I'll make the forest dance to a brand new drum. <laughs> With his mighty hammer, the brown bear can change the world. Hey, Bucky, I could use your help. I got all the mushrooms ready to hang up to dry them out for winter. So, uh... Mushroom, mushroom, huh? I'm on a roll here. Check out my amazing invention. Uh, it's a barrel with warts? Don't you see? Now every mushroom will be ours. Thanks to my remarkable machine, the Rush Zoomer Mushroomer 500. So it's not a wart barrel? How is it supposed to gather mushrooms, Bucky? Prepare to witness the amazing. One humble brown bear is about to show the whole entire world the way a master stocks up for the winter. <laughs> yeah! Bjorny look! Yeah! I love it! I'm a rush zoom in my tail off. Bucky the bear is a genius! <laughs> rush zoom! Gotcha! Gotcha too! Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! Well then, do you love it or do you love it? Greatest invention in bear history. But Bucky, there's a lot of stuff, just not the right stuff. Just look, try, dig around, you'll find mushrooms in there. Well, I found some really nice leaves. Ooh, the wonderful bounty of the forest. Looks great. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> that tastes truly awful. What if we mixed it with that yummy fish oil you were talking about? Wait, that's the worst idea ever. The polar bear is getting a pretty cool idea. Bucky, listen. I already know it. The rush zoomer is nothing but a wart barrel. <sighs> My big important machine for picking mushrooms is a failure. Bucky, it was not a failure. While it may not be the best machine for collecting mushrooms, it is super good at cleaning old leaves up. I'm a genius! Ha ha! Just look at the Deleepinator 5000! But I can make it even better. Maybe what it needs is a motor. Just a zillion or so horsepower and... I could hook you up with some reindeer. Forget reindeer and horses. We can use genuine bear power. Bucky is up. Bucky and Bjorn are both geniuses. Best bear buddies, they got the goods with their wonderful wagon cleaning up the woods. Singing songs and cracking jokes. We'll see you next time, because that's all, folks. Uh, <laughs> did you put brakes on this thing? 
life photography. observe the beauty of nature. Oh, or I was just doing that. Let me see. Where's the nature? Where's the beauty? Come on! Uh, there! I just don't see any nature. Well, Bucky, the nature ran away. Because someone scared it off. Huh? Uh, nature uh, should be observed uh, silently. And from a nice distance. Oh, ah, yeah. right. Tell that to the forest, because it pops and crunches with every single step I take. <laughs> I do tend to stomp around a lot, I guess. Oh, hey! I'll find a way to observe nature's beauty from a nice distance. It'll work even if I'm noisy, and I'm always noisy. <laughs> mm, not this. This stuff. And all this stuff, too. Tripod. Good. With equipment like this, I can observe the stuffing out of nature. Yeah, now I just need to find some nature to try it out on. Bingo. Chicky, just act natural and let me observe you, all right? <laughs> just act natural! <laughs> just disappeared. What do I do now? Think, Bucky. Huh. <sighs> it's no problem. Bjorn's gonna love this thing. Because it's awesome! Scientists and others with big, smart brains will tell you that nature has sort of a problem with loud noises. Okay. So what then are all those? Long pause for dramatic effect. Who are by their very nature loudmouths Ever to do! Well now, Bucky's latest invention has solved this terrible problem. I give you the remarkable nature looky thing! Speechless, huh? Check it out. You spot some sweet nature, right? But it's a very long distance off. Feel free to take notes. Well, in that case, you just press the zoom button. Zoom! Nature grab. Then just observe the grand beauty of nature. When you've seen enough, Back it goes. Where do you think you're going? Bad nature! Fine. How about now? So nature's far better when my super technology enhances it, right? Well, Bucky, technology's nice. But up north, we take kind of a different approach when we're observing nature. Why don't you just come with me and see? That's so cool! Hello, Owl! Shh! Sorry. Hello, Owl! They're so beautiful! Blue Moose! I wondered what that frog was so afraid of. I can't wait till they hatch. Uh, no comment. <laughs> These are awesome! This is how nature should be observed. That's right! When nature can't tell you're there, you can see much more of what nature does. It's cool to meet you, nature. You are awesome!
Big Dipper, Ursa Major Great Bear, <coughs> what a pick! Ursa Minor Little Bear, oh yeah! Cassiopeia, <coughs> Bucky! Enough reading! Let's go and play! I can't now. Sorry, Bucky. I'm supposed to study. <coughs> Ursa Major Great Bear, Ursa Minor Little Bear. The Atlas of the Stars, huh? Why do you want to learn about the stars? Polar bears all have to really know every single constellation in the sky. Well, a book won't do it. You need to be looking at the stars in real life, Bjorn. And you can't see them in the day. Well, at night, I can't read the atlas. And I get really snoozy woozy. You need to visit a planetarium. Do what? You know, the building where you can look at the stars whenever you want to, even in the daytime? And do planetariums just grow in the forest? Um, not really. Well, I guess I'll have to learn the stars by using the book. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <gasps> you know what? It so happens that the world's greatest planetarium is right in my own cabin! <laughs> or it will be really soon! I need this for something. Give me half an hour, then come see. I'm a genius! Time to be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Big Dipper goes here. Fancy glass. Teacup. This is fun. I'm making constellations, baby. Ugh. Tree stand. Bowl. Ugh. Hammer thing. Bucky, you are the coolest friend ever. Yeah. Hey there, Bjorn. You got here right on time. Come in! Welcome to the Bucky Way Galaxy! Ooh, it's a planetary! Ooh. <laughs> ah! Nice try, dude, but there's no polar bear constellation. Seems like you'd know that. This is a planetarium, is it? What's going on with the ropes everywhere? Just ignore that. All the other stuff's what you're here to see. Yarn Bear, come on down! Prepare to have your mind blown! Just over here is Ursa Major, the Great Bear Pot. It's totally just like the real thing. Almost exactly, kind of. Up here's the Great Cup, and down here's the Great Broken Cup. All right, maybe that's not a real constellation. Uh, how come you hung a hammer? Well, you see, so it occurred to me. There's so many stars, there's got to be one hammer constellation up there. I give you nail hit us major. So I made a few up. It's cool, though, right? It fills an open space. Huh? Bjorn, wait. Where are you going? What's wrong? Bjorn? Are you upset or something? <laughs> hey, listen. I can take the hammer down if that's what's wrong. Although it is pretty banging, if I do say so myself. There's not a hammer constellation in the sky. Uh, I can fix everything, you know? Make sure it's super accurate so you can study the stars for real. I'm better off studying out here. Thanks a lot, but your planetarium just isn't my... Please tell me you see those lights. Look at that. Fireflies! Isn't it pretty? I wish my behind glowed like that. <laughs> wow, that looks like the Big Dipper. I think it actually looks closer to the Great Bear. Hmm, Cassiopeia. Hey, just like you said, Bjorn, that you wanted to learn about constellations out here? Well, that's just what's happening. Nature's showing us all the constellations. See? That looks like the constellation Leo Minor, Bucky. Nice kitty. And that's Pisces. Something's fishy about that one. There's Perseus. Hey, Sky Man. And Orion. Hey, other Sky Man. That looks like Scorpio. That is a big scorpion. And there's Aquarius. You're spilling your water, dude. Ooh, there's the Milky Way. <laughs> It, it isn't the Milky Way. Instead, it's a meteor shower that's learned to dance and do tricks. <laughs> <laughs> that shows how well you understand owl language. What it really said was, we should all be in bed now, because it's quite late. Well then, I'll say goodnight, Bjorn, my friend. Try not to let that hammer fall on your head. 